All our elected officials who are here, including Mayor, Mayor Bob Cashel. Bob, where are you? Are you still here? Or are you not? Oh, Mayor Sparks is here. Mayor, thank you very much. You know Martinez, right? Martini. Thank you. Thank you very much. As in the soft drink. <laughs> thank you, Mayor Martini, for being here. And I apologize for not recognizing you earlier. I thank all our elected officials. And could I just mention very briefly to you how important mayors are. When I was first elected to the United States Senate, there was a woman named Marcella Peters of Chandler, Arizona, who uh, was my chairperson, and we won Chandler, and I won a seat to the, to the Barry Goldwater, a great, great American, and great leader, retired from. <laughs> anyway, at 2 a.m. one morning after I'd been in the Senate, the phone rang, and I answered the phone, and she said, John, I said, what? She said, this is Marcella. I said, what is it? She said, I've got a terrific problem. What is it? She said, they're changing the garbage pickup in front of my home from Tuesday to Thursday morning. She said, I have to be up late on Wednesday night at the Republican headquarters. She, well, she talked for about 20 minutes about this problem they had about changing the garbage. Finally, I said, Marcella, why don't you call the mayor of Chandler and discuss this urgent issue? She said, oh, no, I wouldn't want to bother an important man like that. <laughs> So, I thank you, and I thank all of you, and I want to tell you that uh, there is a little bit of difference between Arizona and Nevada. That it, um, about water. Now, you saw in our water, we want it back. <laughs> we have some of the water in Arizona, the trees chase the dogs. But I'm sure, by the way, we will work it out, and I intend to campaign in this state and win Nevada, and I will win. And I will win. I am a Western state. I am a Western senator. I understand. I understand our issues of Native Americans, of land, of water, uh, of public lands, of dynamic growth, and how we handle those challenges. I understand those issues. I've been in the Congress for many, many years, and I'm proud of the work that I've done on Western issues, and I understand it. And with your help, with your help, we will safely win the state of Nevada, and we will become the President of the United States in January. The best thing I think about uh, these gatherings is not you listening to me. The important thing is for me to hear your questions and your comments. I'd like to hear from you. That's what a town hall meeting is supposed to be about. That's why my opening comments are going to be brief, except to just say that I noticed in this group, uh, group here who are here today, of wonderful people, there are some also especially wonderful people, and I can tell by their hats. And I just would like to honor and ask our veterans who are here today to stand so I can thank them for their service. Those that I know best and love most are those I had the honor of serving with long ago and far away. The great honor of my life was to have the opportunity in Hanoi to observe a thousand acts of courage and compassion and love. And I will never forget the wonderful, the wonderful friendships that were forged there, which will remain with me the rest of my life. And I want to assure every veteran here. Nevada and across this nation, that I will take care of the veterans of this nation. I will give them the hair, health care that they need. And I know how to do that. And I know how to do that. I will care for our veterans. We will give them what they need.
understand. I understand. I understand how tough it is. And I understand that if we expect future generations of Americans to serve and sacrifice, we must do as George Washington admonished us back in 1789, that we must care for those who have already served and sacrificed. And that's what I would do our comments. Now, I just want to talk to you about two issues, and then I'd like to respond to any questions or, or comments you have. And thank you again for taking your time to, to be here and be a part of the essence of what I think is democracy in America, and that's a town hall meeting. First, I want to talk to you about spending. My friends, uh, I, you need a little straight talk to state the obvious. We Republicans lost the 2006 election because our base became dispirited. I'm happy to tell you our base is united now, but they're still not energized. And our base became de-energized and dispirited because we, as Republicans, allowed spending to get completely out of control. And I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to stop the out of control spending. Now, I'm not going to spend three million dollars. Of the DNA of Bears in Montana, which we did a couple of years ago. By the way, I don't know if that was a paternity issue or a criminal issue. My friends, our beloved Ronald Reagan used to say, Congress spends money like a drunken sailor, only I never knew a sailor drunk or sober with the imagination of Congress. And that's a pretty good thing. That's a pretty good you know. I use it so often that uh, a long time ago I received an email from a guy and it said, I resent, as a former drunken sailor, I resent being compared to members of Congress. I can't blame them. One of the differences.